The movement was begun by a scientist who discovered, quite by accident, the signals being sent. Please understand, they are safe as long as they are not discovered. They want their weapon. Look out for Charlie. Oh, I don't want that son of a bitch dead. I want him dead. I've been uh, in the middle of doing an audio job, so I haven't really had time to go over any audio. But I want to just talk about a couple things and bring it to your attention because a lot of people seem to have really short attention spans. And one of these things that I want to talk about is more gallons. You know, not everybody who has more gallons gets these sores that you see here. Like, it, it can and it does turn into open sores that can make somebody look like a drug addict and if you look they're you know here they're in the middle of this woman's back they'll blame it on scratching they'll say you're scratching at yourself and these are clearly in areas where the person cannot scratch you know stuff like that but that's not my point here my point is not everybody gets these sores sometimes the person's skin feels like it's turning into plastic as though they have like this plastic layer over their skin and it will actually even begin to look like that as if you took Elmer's glue and put a very thin coat over the area of your face or the area where this is and it will make the skin kind of like tighten up and it will cause these really thin wrinkles in the skin that aren't really there it's the layer on top that's pulling everything together and creating these wrinkles and here's what's crazy is uh, when Eminem showed back up on the scene, like, I don't know if it was 2016 or whatever, I remember being really alarmed and going, what the fuck is going on here, dude? And now no one seems to remember it. But let me show you something. This is Eminem when he showed back up out of nowhere. And you can see, like, he's got these weird wrinkles and anomalies all over his face even on his chin down here up here around his eyes everywhere look at him he looks more like uh, the elf that wanted to be a dentist than Eminem he looks totally different even his eyes look totally different it's very bizarre but you can tell anybody who has experience in this or has studied this to any extent you can tell that this is uh, more gallons this is the, the plasticky form of Morgellons that goes over the face, over the body, and starts to pull things together that shouldn't be pulled together, and it creates these anomalies. So let's check this out. Believe it or not, this is Eminem in like 2016 or 2017, whenever this photo was taken, this weird-ass photo, and this is Eminem now. You would think it would be the opposite. But it seems that somebody has helped uh, Eminem and his Morgellons plight. And they were able to uh, to get rid of this. And he is he looks completely different. He doesn't have the yellowing or it looks like his kidneys or his uh, liver is having a problem. He's, uh, his wrinkles are gone. And you can tell that his face is completely healed up you know so this is really really something to pay attention to and it's strange that that people's memories are so short that they don't pay attention to the fact that he looked 60 years old not even five years ago and that's really really strange and below is a photo of James Holmes and you can see that they pretty much have the same look in their eye like their skin is being pulled in that direction so anyway, I just wanted to bring this up to people that may have forgotten that he looked 60, like a skinny 65-year-old man five years ago, and he looks totally different now. And it's not the beard. It's not any of that because all this stuff, except for the stuff on his chin, all this stuff is up here and higher. So this is something to pay attention to big time. And it's clearly more gallons. This is, this is what happens with more donuts. It's like a, when it's not creating the sores and you've just got the glazed donut stuff going on that's creating this film over your skin, it pulls stuff together just like a thin coat of Elmer's glue. It's just like it. And here is more gallons when it's actually creating the sores. Your face will be continuously red and broken out. And then when it's not doing this, 
and it's doing the other, it's doing exactly what you saw on Eminem. And now I'm going to answer a question publicly because I think it's pretty important. I don't know where they got this, but they must have came to that conclusion from this video here. And it says, so you don't believe that there is such a thing as any sort of surveillance and torture program that we call gang stalking. It is real. Well, I don't know who we is, but this isn't a gang stalking channel, period. I do not cover gang stalking at all, at all, period. This is an RF weapons and surveillance channel. That's what I cover. Okay, and let me tell you, RF weapons, whether you want to call it uh, electronic harassment, which it isn't, it's a torture program, and the surveillance system completely exists. It absolutely exists. But it is not the same thing as gang stalking. And when you blend those two things together, you cause a great disservice to whatever it is that you're going through. I don't know if you're being gang stalked or if you're dealing with RF weapons or both, but they are two completely different things. Radio frequency weapons starts with tinnitus and zaps and pains and sounds and voices and whatever else and gang stalking is a Stasi tactic that was used in East Germany and Soviet countries before it was ever used here which is where they overtly follow you and ruin the quality of your life by making you paranoid and blah 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 when you blend those two things together and try to explain that to somebody you literally sound like a nutcase there is no rational way to explain that even if you are experiencing both you have to create the separation between the two Do you understand what I'm saying it's not the same thing and stop blending those things together and blurring the lines between that in fact recently I was contacted by a guy who was doing a documentary on gang stalking and wanted to talk to me about it and he was referred to me allegedly by somebody who had used my audio services in the past and I explained to him that what I dealt with was not gang stalking and if he was going to portray it as gang stalking that I wanted nothing to do with his documentary and that's how you handle it and that's how it should be handled and then I, I totally explained to him the differences in depth and how you can actually prove that RF weapons exist but gang stalking is very hard to prove it exists and if you're gonna get into that it's whatever but no one said that it, that wasn't real I just don't cover gang stalking period so that answers that question every few months you get some noob that comes along that's just being you know sensitized or attacked with these RF weapons and they think they've got it all figured out and their neighbors are doing it and they're the hardest hit target in America or wherever they are they're, they're the one that's getting it the worst and they'll, they'll say this and it's usually because they either a take what they're hearing seriously or B they're getting very very heavy sensations or pain in their body and they think they have it worse than everybody else nobody has it worse than anybody else and if there is a case where your sensations are stronger than what the average person is experiencing it's not because you're being hit harder than anybody else now listen to me it is no different than me putting a tiny antenna on a radio and then taking another radio that is exactly the same and putting a giant antenna on it and then when I'm getting a clearer reception from further away I'm saying that that radio is being targeted harder than the other radio there's no difference the difference is in sensitization that's it so no one's being hit harder you know and it's usually these people that are taking what they're hearing seriously and when you hear stuff like this there are only a few different scripts there are mental illness scripts and then there are the kind of scripts where they're trying to get you to do something stupid and usually that entails threats on your life blah 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 so many people have heard those 
and they heard them 10, 15, 20 years ago, and they're still alive today. So believe me, there are no harder targets. You know, and I'll get emails from people, and they'll tell me things like this, and I'll say, well, you know, tell me what you're hearing. What are you hearing? And, and I'll check them all off, and I'm saying, yep, I've heard about that before. I've heard about this before. I've heard about that before. You, what you're getting is a generic script, dude. And they can't accept that. A lot of people have a hard time accepting that. They're like, no, no. And it's like, yes, yes, that is a generic script. The AI system is going to use anything that sticks. And you build this. You're creating your own adventure. It's literally what it is doing is creating your own adventure and then playing off that. If you laughed at it today and really laughed at it and didn't do anything and didn't react, it wouldn't know what to do. And it's not your neighbors. It is not your neighbors. Your neighbors aren't doing this. You, you are being played the fool if you believe that because it's waiting for you, hoping that you do something to your neighbors to further the mental health narrative that people are just snapping all over the place because that's how it's going to be narrated later. And, you know, people will say, well, I heard them moving around equipment. Dude, how do you think this works? Dude, really? Where you can put fake troop movements a quarter of a mile away on a hillside. <laughs> Or you can whisper in the ear of a supposed terrorist some biblical verse. But what you're hearing isn't an illusion. It's real. There are so many people that I've talked to that go, you know, dude, you were right, man. Here I did something stupid in the beginning and, and I was totally wrong. And they could have gotten a lot of trouble for what they did, either breaking in, looking for equipment or whatever. But it's not your neighbors I'm trying to help you here. That's about it for now. I just want to go over a couple things. Look out for Charlie. Sweet clothes. That's it for now. Look out for Charlie. <laughs> oh, man. I like this kid. This fucking guy's crazy. Look out for Charlie. Charlie. I want that son of a bitch dead. I want him dead.